Hello all and welcome to this video in which I'm going to be having a little flick through of this book that I picked up in my last pickups video which was back in the middle of December. The Look and Find Street Fighter 2 book. Now I label it as interesting, I hope you'll find it interesting, it is certainly interesting to me. As I say, I, I stumbled across this just by pure accident. I was boosting the Street Fighter 2 30th Anniversary Collection achievements with a friend and they have these little facts on the loading screens. And one of the facts was basically telling us about this book, you know, that this Look and Find Street Fighter 2 book existed. It led to me searching on eBay and then finding a few copies of it. Only in America could I find copies of this, but I grabbed up, grabbed one for a great price and had it imported, basically, just because I'm such a Street Fighter 2 fan. And I, I love the artwork and I just, I just had to have it. I've had it on display, but I haven't had a proper look through it yet. I mean, in that pickups video that I did, I did look at one page, but that was a few weeks ago now, so even I kind of can't remember what I saw there. But every other page is definitely going to be 100% new to me, and every one is going to be pretty much a live reaction or as recorded reaction to to what I'm about to see. So should we dive into the book? I think we should. But actually, before we do, let's just have a closer look at the front cover and see what's on there. Obviously, it says Look at Fire Street Fighter 2. And we've got Guile in combat there with Blanka. Now, I know it's your move, Guile, and I'm no expert, but you appear to be doing a sonic boom wrong. For starters, it's going upwards rather than sideways, and you're only using one arm to make part sonic boom i'm pretty sure both arms create the sonic boom but blank is jumping in and it looks like you've got the situation under hand because that one part is going to connect anyway i reckon the backdrop for this imagery here is going to be one of the one of the pages i would imagine i can't imagine they're going to draw a different front cover to 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 a couple of pages but there's a lot going on there already and it's got me already thinking wow there's, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on on every page in this book we've got e honda there celebrating arms in the air giving it a good old cheer he's enjoying the combat that he is seeing and i've just noticed you've actually got blank in the bottom left hand corner so you could how how has that happened blank as a twin revelation revealed and there's dow sim again arms in the air with with some kind of facial expression which i i, I cannot work out it's it's kind of shocked and happy and i uh, something else all at the same time while as yeah dj's just got it right he's cheering there okay so we're gonna look at the back cover as well before we dive into the book see what's on the back cover and there's the whole gang there look all smiling and looking happy together perhaps with the exception of sagat there who just looks like oh they made me do this photo but apart from that they all look happy and smiley before they basically just go ahead and beat the crap out of each other because that's what fighting tournaments are all about so we've got some words on the back here as well the fighters are the same ryu guile sagat and bison Right, I only felt the need to tell us about four of them there. The weapons are the same. Baker has a claw. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Strong legs, fast hands, clear minds, and brave hearts, but not the film. The arenas are the same. The Air Force Base, the docks, the jungle. But now, the action and the excitement of Street Fighter 2, trademark, has been channeled into non-stop look-and-find adventure. Search each of the nine wildly confusing fighting arenas. Wildly confusing? Search each of the nine wild, wildly confusing fighting arenas for hidden items and the sixteen battling world warriors. So they're gonna every one of these guys and girls is gonna be on every page, and we have to find them. That was what I was assuming the book would be about to start with. But we've got hidden items as well, apparently. Right. So face wicked gags, painful puns. We we love a pun. They're not painful. And the ultimate test of look and find interaction. The challenge of the World Warriors has once again been thrown down for you to meet. So there we go. That's that's quite quite a few. That's interesting words there. That certainly certainly's got me intrigued to to open the book up. So let's uh, flip it back round to the right way round and indeed open up the book to the. Well, I was going to say the very first page, but it's kind of the the inlay, I suppose, of the book before we before we crack on. And we've got the whole gang there again. We've got them all here, and we've got them all round here. Ken's hairdo looks very. Very Rod Stewart in his young days, doesn't it? Good, nice to see Gar's got the flat top going on as well. And again, Sagat is just not happy to be in this book. It's like, oh, I've got to do this portrait photo for this book. Chanley there is is obviously had a photo taken at the wrong time and it's caught a blinking. Cammy looks a little bit wrong. Something not quite right about Cammy. Pretty sure she looks a little bit better than that. But apart from that, yeah, good for, good face on portraits, I suppose. It's, it's, uh, can't get over that hair, dude. That is definitely a young Rod Stewart there. And uh, Dalsim has no pupils. Right, so page one. And wow, 
they didn't lie about a lot going on. Got this is Balrog. So why start with Balrog? Wasn't he one of the bosses? Okay, so we've got some words there. That wimp guy or thinks thinks he's thinks he can take me. So, but he's got another think coming. That that's that's why I pause there. I was like, I'm reading think twice. Thing coming. So didn't really pass quality control that well, did ya? At least the other fighters knows what's knows not an S there, Rob. Know what's best for them. They're enjoying the sights instead of trying to tangle with the likes of me. When I'm on my turf, nobody can match my strength. This may be the town that never sleeps, but Gal is gonna be out cold in just a minute. In just a minute. Got ninety nine seconds if I remember rightly. Take your time. While I'm taking care of business with this would be world warrior, see if you can find these people that are passing time in my favourite town. So we've got all these people to find. We've got a magician, a rock star, a gangster, a millionaire, a bride, a movie star, a singer, and a countess. I'm, I'm guessing only in Las Vegas would you find all of those people in the same area. That's, uh, that, that's a thing. So there we go. Christ, where do we start? And of course, you've got all of the 16 world warriors to find. So we've got, I can see E-Honda there. And obviously, we've got Zangief doing a Russian dance. And we've got a couple of kangaroos here. So is that the kangaroo from Tekken and the kangaroo from Streets of Rage 2 having a fight? It could well be. Who knows? So I, I, I'm not going to find everything on every page. I am going to flick through. But bloody hell, there's a lot going on here. So you've got your typical Las Vegas wedding over here with some gambling going on in front of it because that is Las Vegas. A uh, couple of horses over there, I've noticed. A couple of horses up just up there having a look at a menu and, and about to eat. So I'm guessing they're both going to have the hay. Oh, look, Dow Sim is doing a dance on stage with a couple of showgirls. Do we have to find a showgirl? No. Why do we have to find a show, girl? So, yeah, there's the, and, of course, the legs come out. There is so much. Ah, there's Balrog and Guile having a fight over here. Like like said in the description to the left there, and Balrog is getting an uppercut. He's been proper chin so hard that his chin has sparked. It's that rigid, that chin, that, that it sparks with impact. And there's a little panda there behind it. So we've got another cast of the Tekken fighting squad turning up. There's Kuma. You know, joining in with the fight, and there is um Sagat running away from a tiger. Now, of all people, tigers should like they should be Sagat. He's supported them for years. He's named his moved up moves after them. I haven't actually found any of the pe people or things yet. I oh the bride is over here, where it says just married. So there we go. I can I can move on safe in the knowledge that I have managed to find something on this page. And there's a lot going on. There's a lot. There's a ring toss there. Look at that. An alliance. Jesus Christ. There's a car over here all over the show. How how they ended up there? There's a plane there flying with money coming out of it. Oh wow. All sorts. That must have taken ages to draw. It looks hand drawn as well as as do most of the pages in this book. Okay, so let's move on to the next page. And who have we got here? We've got oh the jungle from the front. Does that mean I know where Blanker is? No, there's E Honda. That celebrating in the manner that he did on the front of the cover. So Blanca was over in the bottom corner, but he's not because it's a little bit different. But the same as well. Okay, so words. What words have you got on this one? My name used to be Jimmy as a child. I was lost in the jungle and raised by wolves. Through some strange accident, my body and my body mutated, and now I can channel electricity through my skin. Foolish Dalsim now understands the extent of my powers. And soon all the world will understand, too. After this fight, though, I think I'm going to go fishing. Can you help me find my fishing gear? All right, so that's kind of themed rather than just people this time. We've got a fishing pole. We've got a harpoon, a fishing hat, fishing tackle, a motorboat, some hip waders that the Blanca will clearly need because he always wears trousers, creel, and a fishing net. And there, well, there's Blanca there. Like he said, he's... Sh ah, that, that's the expression that... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's from the front. That's the uh, the reason why Blanca or oh, Dowson was showing that expression on the front. It's because he was actually being shocked. But you can buy some Blanca burgers with someone else that's been shocked as well. So Blanca's obviously electrified all the burgers and they've held charge somehow, which is physically impossible. There's DJ again cheering like he was on the front cover. Again, a hell of a lot going on there. Why would you have a dentist outside? This is Brazil for you, I suppose. Or the, the Brazil, Brazil as Street Fighter 2 perceives it. I'm trying to look for some of the other the other combatants. Oh, there's Bison's got his own shack over there at the back. Up over the here. Oh, he's got his own shack. That's cool. 
But a lot going on. So we're going to move swiftly on to the next page because we saw a lot of that on the front. So we've got we've got Chan Lee going on here. What's Chan has got to say? I'm the strongest woman in the world. We all know that. All of the street fighters should kneel down before me. Zangief is finding out the hard way that there is no chance to beat me, especially when I use my whirlwind kick. It's spinning bird kick. After I easily beat this wimpy man. He's not wimpy, let's be honest with you. You're just both pretty tough. I think I'll do some shopping in the market. Can you help me find these things I've been looking for? A dress, a bouquet, a perfume bottle, a stuffed panda, a pair of slippers, a jade sculpture and some new bracelets because the old ones have worn a bit because she's been smacking around the head of Zangief. And there she is with the spinning bird kick. Not whirlwind kick. Spinning bird kick. Jesus Christ. And over here, look, Chanley for chairperson. Chanley is the one for me. What is going on? What is... No, no. You're not supposed to have grief for Tiger's Sagat. We found Sagat. There's there's Bison there in the window there, behind the purple dragon's head. You're not supposed to have beef with Tigers. Of all things, Tigers are your friends. There's, there's Balrog having, what, a, a little bit of a chat with the Chinese man. Whatever floats your boat, Balrog. And someone's playing, what, the shortest golf hole in the world on top of an authentic American cuisine. Because that's a thing. Okay, we've got some seafood up there as well. I, I do you know, I, I, I really should find at least one item per page before I move on. But I, I, I found Vega. I'm better at finding the Street Fighter 2 combatants more than anything, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, can we find... Uh, where's the stuffed panda? Who knows? Where's the stuffed panda? Can I find the stuffed panda? The answer is no. There's DJ, look, jumping off the top of a building in the top right-hand corner. There's somebody playing basketball or, or, or netball on the roof there. Kami is descending from the sky in the middle. And I can't find any of those objects. Because I need to move on to the next page. That's the reason. Right. Oh, it's Guile. It's the Air Force Base as advertised on the back. So what's Guile got to say? Years ago, my best friend Charlie and I were captured while on a mission in Thailand. I managed to escape, but Charlie never got free from the clutches of that fiendish M. Bison. Now I'm back and nothing is going to stop me from avenging my friend, especially not a pushover like Ken. Nothing matches the power and excitement I feel when I'm flying my jet fighter. Can you find these other flying, these other, oh, I, I'm putting in words that aren't even there. Can you find these other things that fly? A rocket, a flying fish, a hot air balloon, an eagle, a boomerang, a flying saucer, a bat and a glider. But let's just have a look at that picture. On screen all at once. We've got UFO over here. We've got is we've got a couple of planes there. Where is why did why are they down the bottom? Is it, I thought that was Guile. It's not. It's a rabbit that seems to have the same ability as Guile, and wearing a vest and some combat trousers because that's what rabbits do. And there's E Honda. There's Borog getting all the girls. There's Sagat, I think, in front of some people with. With with uh, Zangief using a a bomb in the only way he knows how, and that is to physically chuck it himself. Blanca's there ab above him, or hiding around this this bit here that you have to read. Is that King Kong or something? That's a bit random. Why would King Kong be an airbase? He should be in New York climbing up a climbing up a building with a woman in his hand. There's a jet fighter flying, but there, oh, there's Guy. There's Gull. Absolutely, absolutely fucking Ken up. Look at that. Oh, there's some balloons. Does that mean we found them all? Because they're balloon. Every face is on a balloon. That means we found them. We don't actually have to go looking for them. Even though Ryu is there. Look, top centre-ish. Having a chin wag with somebody. But yeah, do you know what? I, I'm loving it. It's going to say there's so much going on. But obviously, a look and fire book has to make things go on. But yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. It's a weird book. Don't get me wrong. But it's an interesting book. And the art style is something... Certainly very interesting. Okay, let's let's move on to the next page. I think this was the page that I opened in my pickups video. E Honda says in Japan a sumo is trained to fight hard. We learn to be patient and to channel our powers into awesome attacks. Only a sumo can be the true champion street fighter. Your opinion, fella. As I will demonstrate by defeating the undisciplined savage. Who is who's he talking about? We'll have to find. How after a good fight, I like to play hard in my hot tub. Mm. 
Keep your stories like that yourself, fella. But I'll need some bath toys. Oh, God. To have my fun. Oh, dear. While I'm working over this green monster, try to find these things for me. So he's fighting blank. I'll quickly move on. And everything's going on here at the bottom of the screen. The 100 hand slap versus the electric move. It's, it's the moves where you just bash one button repeatedly, taking on each other. And we've got uh, we've got the some sort of monster there coming out. There's bunnies. Bunnies doing things again. If they're, if they're not... If they're not at an air force base where in combat's fighting, they're in, in, in the sumo world having a bath and sh spraying water everywhere. But um, what things have we got finding this? Sorry, my submarine, my squirt gun, my beach ball, my snorkel, my battleship, my bubble bath, and my rubber duck, and my sponge mitt. Again, we're probably not going to find any of those items very quickly. Just try and find some of the combatants. There's there's Guy having his hair cut, which is uh, probably a daily occurrence. And, and so is Barog, which means he's just having his head shaved. And um and leaving a little bits of hair left. There's uh I just noticed uh if we can get him into view there, douse him at the top, providing his own fire there. Because that's what douse him does. But again, loads going on there. Another beautiful couple of pages to look at. I was gonna say it, fighting the fires will take you probably not so long, but finding all these items will certainly give you a bit of longevity out of this book. And uh, I I've yet to just stumble across one easily, so it, I'd like to think it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, which is exactly what a look of fine book should be, I suppose. So next page, Ken with the young Rod Stewart's hair. He says, I am destined to be the next champion street fighter. You're all bloody saying that. So Gat dared me to attack, but he's no match for my hurricane kick. Well, at least you're cool calling your rotating kick move by its proper name. This fight just started and he's already nearly beaten. Mm, mm, okay, bit, bit, a bit ahead of yourself, perhaps. I'll be doing, I'll be, I'll be doing, I'm putting my own words in again. I'll be done here soon. Try to find these seagoing things on the docks while I finish off this brute. So we've got a captain, a sailor, a crab, a pelican, an anchor, a seal, some seashells, and a fisherman. Very cliche things to find by the seaside, haven't we here? So where is young Kenneth? I don't know, but there's, there's, there's E Honda doing his, his flying headbutt move on what appears to be some sort of glass wall perhaps not entirely sure we've got any of the other combatants that we can find there's guile jumping into a group of people just being a general jerk that's t hawk that's the first time i've mentioned him oh there's the f why why would you put that on the joint of the page of all images the main image which is read oh, which is described but yeah he's getting a right hurricane kick to the gut there that's um that's gonna work in the morning it's gonna work as well it's hurting now there's blanca there Climbing onto a ship, fire some chains. Surely, with your jump and the fact you can do your blanker roll, you don't need to use a chain to climb on a boat. You can just sort of spin your way across. Am I going to find any of those items? No, I am not, because I can't help but just want to look for the fighters when I do. There's Ryu painting a picture of Ken on what looks like Scooby-Doo's mystery machine. Yeah, there's, there's the Loch Ness monster next to him. It's just because that's that's the normal thing to do. And a Trojan horse, potentially. And some camels. And a Viking ship. It's just all going on, really, isn't it? Wow. Brain overload. Next page before I explode. Or my brain explodes. Right, so there's a there's Zangief stage. And we've got... In Russian factories, many things are automated. Machines do much of our work for us. This gives my comrades more time to watch me destroy... Any world warrior who dares show his face here, like the showy, showy, is that even a word? Like the showy American bullrog. Our technology is so advanced, although it looks so far behind from this picture. <laughs> Our technology is so advanced, even some of the workers here are automated. Can you find these automated factory people? Blimey, we've got robot versions of a firefighter, a police officer, an orchestra conductor, a train engineer, a plumber, a painter, and a salesperson. And just casually there, Toxic drum just casually sitting there. We've got bloody hell. Is that C3PO? Or is that a woman? Uh, that's a female version of C3PO. What the bloody hell? Um, translation, anybody? Don't know. There's there's Tony the Tiger on steroids. He looks absolutely uh, ferocious. While Zangief is actually doing a spinning power driver there on Balrog. While just people are casually dancing around as if fuck all's happening right next to them. There's some messed up superhero here next to my thumb. What is that all about? I'm not even looking for the all mate people. I'm looking for the World Warriors. There's there's Sagat. He's not kicking a tiger this time. He's kicking some of those those barrels by the look of it. Anything else? Oh, there's E Honda in the rafters. And and DJ doing some sort of dab, which has gone a bit wrong. It's not 
I'm no dabbing expert, but even I know that's not how it goes. There's Vega just above him. Go Zangief. He's got some support from the rafters. Of course, the, of course the, home, the home fighter is going to get a bit of support from the rafters and the viewing audience. So, from Zangief's page, on to the next one, because visual overload is, is leading, leading me getting hyped quite often. It's Bison, so is that the last page? No, there's one more. Bison should be the last page. What's Bison got to say as I knock the camera stand? Why don't they bother? Why do they bother? Jesus Christ. Why do they bother? Don't any of these second-rate street fighters realise that no one can match my power, my skill, or my ruthlessness? Who are you, John Cena? W ruthless aggression, eh? Why these puny ma amateurs... I'm just, just reading different words. Couldn't even get... Couldn't even get past the defences of my palace. How do they think they could possibly defeat me? Let them come. Let them all come. Anyone who dares to oppose me will be destroyed without mercy. Try your hand at getting past my palace's defences. See if you can find these parts of my security system. And we've got a spy satellite. A flying tank, because all tanks should fly. A robot sentry. Captain of the guard. Missile launcher. Tigers, so if Sagat's about somewhere, I'll probably kick them from what we learned in this book already. A laser cannon, not a shark with freaking laser beams up, is it? Uh, a bodyguard who looks like he's doing a shit job because he's beaten up to hell. So there, there's Bison straight away. And he is fighting E Honda, I guess, by the looks of it. And there is um, Ken fighting Ken. We've got a mirror match, but in a mirror match, they should be wearing different clothes. So what the kind of Inception shit is going on here? There is Vega running away from... Fake M. Bison? Was that one of the things? Is that the Captain of the Guard? Have we found something? Yeah, look at that. We found one of them. We actually found one of them. There's people there are being held hostage. Sherlock Holmes and... and and uh, and uh, What the hell's his name? Holmes there. Are, have been kidnapped. Maybe that's what uh, what uh, Vega's about to rescue. He's about to cut that rope with his claws. Who knows? There's the Bison stage with those those statue things. I just noticed there is... There is... Oh, what is going on there? It looks all twisted up. It doesn't look right. But there is Blanca and Guile doing the good thing and, and, and freeing probably innocent people. Well done, lads. Well done. But, uh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Again, image overload again. Image overload. What a fascinating, interesting book. And we're not done yet. We've got one more. We've got one more. So uh, there's the tigers. Did we have to find tigers? Yes, we did. Look at that. I've gone from finding absolute squat on all of the pages with regards to extra items to finding two on one. And there's Balrog taking care of the tigers, or commanding the tigers to attack this guy here. He is one of the bosses, so perhaps he's on Bison's side in this. Damn you, Balrog. Turncoat. Right. Last page, I think, is Ryu. Oh, save the best to last, because Ryu is my man. He's my boy. He's my main. Right, so, with the help of my Dragon Punch, I have tied the rounds 1-1. One, one. So you lost the round. Well, you're bloody hell. Damn it. Using the guidance and training of my master Sheng Long, funny story behind that, I shall defeat M. Bison in the final round and become the new world champion. So the previous page was because Bison was the current winner and you're taking on the, the current winner in the very last round. Who knows? While I fight, see if you can find these items from my country scattered across the rooftops of Tokyo. Did I read one without actually making a mistake for a change? Bloody hell. Well, there's E. Honda drinking the world's biggest can of... E cola, I guess they couldn't put Coca Cola for copyright reasons. Right, so we got a Kabuki actor, a samurai sword maker, a baseball player, a tea kettle, a geisha, a Shin Shinto Tori. I hope I pronounced that right. A shogun, a koto player. We got them things there. So there's Blanka, posing for a sign he's already on, or posing for photos for fans. I don't know. There's there's Bison indeed. Looks like it looks like Ryu's just sort of dodged and uh, and escaped Bison getting the better of him. Any more of the world? Is that is that Dalsim up there? I think that's Dalsim up there on that rooftop. Could well be. Uh, I haven't stumbled across any of the extra things. Is that Fei Long there? It's the first time I mentioned Fei Long. And that's Cammy. I think I've mentioned her before. Normally some things are hiding hiding around here. And yep, yeah, not let me down. There is Balrog with all with all the ladies. Well done, Balrog. You're the real winner there, I suppose. But what is um? What the hell is this beastly thing up here? What the hell is that? There's, does that count as finding Chan Li, or is Chan Li actually her somewhere, or, or does the billboard count? And there's that guy over there in the top right hand corner, descending from the space. And uh, I hope Ryu won. I hope Ryu won because I say he's my boy, and that was the final fight. Not the uh, size going to beat him up. Just uh, just an expression I'm using here. That is uh, Barney's 
uh, cousin there, the, the, the purple shark, rather than a dinosaur, I've just noticed. But wow, yeah, he's caught a sensory overload when it comes to visuals in this book. I mean, look, there's a there's a giant robot T Rex there, and and a giant and a and a, a robot pterodactyl as well. That's pink. They obviously run out of paint and had to mix it with some white paint they had left, and, and he ended up pink. Unlucky fella. Bad luck of the draw there. And I think that is the last sort of page where we have to find stuff. But we've got what well, we got a checklist, and we got even more stuff to find. Blimey, I'm not going to read these all out. But uh, should you want to, you can pause. Look, find things in Las Vegas. More things to find in America, I think. Is that America? I saw the word American. Yes, yeah, Skyle stage. Channel Lee stage. That is E Honda stage, I think. Sagat, again, not happy to be pictured. There's blanker stuff. More stuff, some more stuff there from Bison, from Ryu. And there. And that, ladies and gentlemen. Is the visual overload? I need to sit down. The visual overload that is look and find Street Fighter 2. And you know what? Including having it imported from America, I only paid about 10 quid for this. Maybe just over a little bit. And I say if you're if you're into your Street Fighter 2 and collecting pieces and memorabilia for Street Fighter 2, then you 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 gotta be looking at this. This is this is uh, why why did why was this ever thought of in the first place? It seemed just seems so random. Nothing against it being made. I'm just saying, it just seems so random that somebody would want to make this. And now that I flick through it, I can have a little bit of fun with this. I will probably uh, I probably won't be so interested in finding all the sort of bonus items that they give you, but more interested in finding all of the fighters on every page. So yeah, that was just a little insight and a few a few of my natural reactions to to the the random crap that I was seeing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, why not smack a little thumbs up for us? That's always good. That always helps. But uh, yeah, if you, if if you are new to the channel, and you enjoy this video, tell a friend, drop a sub, all that sort of jazz. Just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching, and as always, please do take care.